Hey guys, I actually think uh, it may be a great time to get involved in MetaZoo. There are a lot of grails that you may never have seen before. And they're hitting the marketplace and they're hitting the auctions at a dollar listing value. That is uh, pretty cool in my opinion. Um, again, these cards are definitely not as valuable as they were just even a year ago. But nonetheless, being able to buy such quantity of cards is quite impressive. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, very interesting just how many cards you can get and how special they are and how limited everything is. It reminds me a lot of uh, Magic the Gathering when I first started. I love dead card games. As you guys know, I'm still buying dead card games right now. In Yasha, Meta X. Meta X is really hard to get a hold of. I'm looking into Battle Spirits. I think that card game is basically on its way out. Fire Emblem Cypher. Love that card game. Uh, and I, li I like dead card games. I really do. And part of the reason I like them is it's cheap. And the grails are not hundreds of thousands of dollars or even tens of thousands or even thousands of dollars. The grails are hundreds of dollars, if that. So, and then whatever cards you want, whatever you collect, it, collecting is cheap in MetaZoo right now. I think that has a real purpose. If you like collecting cheap stuff and you like collecting things that are maybe not the most expensive, and maybe they have never go up in value, but you enjoy cryptids, this is a perfect game for you. Or you enjoy Hello Kitty. You know, I'm in the uh, auction trying to buy some Hello Kitty, right? And it's a booster of cases for like $500 for, uh, I think there was like 18 boxes or maybe 12 boxes a case. The uh, San Diego Comic Cons, they're all going for like very cheap. Hopefully we'll get, I'll be able to get a set of those. Uh, or the uh, NYCC Comic Con, right, with uh, Kurami. And why not? I mean, for a Hello Kitty, like, people don't understand how expensive Hello Kitty is. If you go to the mall, you're going to realize that Hello Kitty shit is expensive out of the nose expensive. And the reason that it is so expensive is it, it makes a lot of sense to me when you have Hello Kitty, when you have um, a... You know, when you have something like this, it's just um, not cheap. It is not cheap at all. This has got to be one of the cheapest Hello Kitty products in existence right now. Not because it started cheap, but because it is just so damn cheap. And it's continuing to drop in price. And if you like Cryptid, you like this Cryptid, that Cryptid. Like, this is a lot cheaper than Weiss. I'm trying to... Get back in Weiss. I used to have a massive Weiss collection. I sold it to buy dual lands. Probably the correct move. But uh, yeah, I do miss having all of this stuff. Um, I miss it a lot, right? Um, yeah, let's, let's just be real. And let's kind of talk about... Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we would just basically say that this is quite cheap for a card game, even a dead card game. Even as dead card games go, people don't realize this. Inuyasha is dead for 20 years. It's expensive. Fire Emblem Cypher is dead. And it's not even just the supply. There is more supply right now on eBay of MetaZoo than there has been when MetaZoo was $820 a booster box from Alpha Investments. That's what's really impressing me is just the grails, the supply, the inventory. All this looks good to me. I'm looking at this and saying, wow, there's some cool cards here. Uh, they're all PSA graded. Um, I don't love PSA graded cards, but I get it. Hey, they used to be grails. They used to be thousands of dollars. Now they're worth tens of dollars. Why not? I mean, why would you invest when it's 820? Like, let me play it this way. You're an idiot for buying boxes at $820. Okay, that is really, really bad. Like, no one should be buying any box at $820, even Magic the Gathering. Any, I mean, maybe if it's vintage, I guess vintage kind of makes sense to me because it's older and actually rare, but not a recent box. 
not a recent box, okay? No one should be buying recent boxes for this amount of money simply for the fact that, you know, it's never going to, I mean, it would take years if not decades to get to that price point in time. Now, for MetaZoo, it, it, you know, you can buy a box that was, Alpha Benjamin was selling for $820 for $40. If, if you truly are a collector and you truly love opening stuff, why not? Why the hell not, guys? Just think about it. Why the hell would you not do this? I mean, it makes so much sense, right? You are having, I mean, you could have the time of your life right now. The time of your life right now. And just be opening these boxes. Or buying these Hello Kitty packs. I mean, these promos used to be like $400, $500 a promo. Now they're like $100 graded. I'm trying to get a promo too, right? So a lot of uh, the interesting things is kind of based on MetaZoo itself. What a fun, what a fun hobby to have if you're into cryptids. Like if you're into cryptids and you actually love this stuff, not because you viewed it as an investment, you are having the time of your life picking up these grails. What is this? Only thirty-five in existence, and you can get it for eleven dollars and fifty cents. Or sixty dollars and seventy. I mean, only thirty-five in existence. Play tester. Wow. So even the play tester stuff. I mean, imagine if this was magic the mother effing gathering, and play testing stuff uh, came out. How crazy would that be, guys? Like, how crazy would this be? Um, I think it would be wild. I think it would be absolutely wild for um people to have access to play testing cards limited to 35 right um wow that's that's pretty pretty crazy and in terms of like how much money and and then the great i mean it's it's uh something else right now it is something else right now and yeah, why not? I mean, why not buy these lots? Why not buy these booster boxes? You can get $820 booster box for $40 shipped to you. <laughs> you know, yeah, you don't get the cool play mat that's worth less than a dollar, but hey, man, we can't get everything we love, right? Um, it's quite special to have a dead card game with this much inventory and this much stuff. I think in the future, people will regret not buying this. And uh, it will be really obvious why they regret not buying this. Is because the, again, like, look like this. The Rose Robinson, isn't that like the main female character? There's only 35 in existence. It's a playtester silver border. You tell me for $30 shipped to you, that's not a good deal. Like, I don't. No, I mean, isn't this that the Frogman, the main dude, and the uh, sealed Meta Zoo, Sam Sinclair, and maybe it cannot be redeemed anymore, but still kind of cool. Call. You could make a massive, like when I mean massive, you can make a massive Meta Zoo collection for under $8,200, which is what it costs to buy the five booster packs of uh, booster boxes of Nightfall. Great time. 